Well, hello everyone. This is Cruise Man out for a ride on a beautiful morning in Carrollton, Texas. It's about 84 degrees. Uh, it's cooled off here a little bit since uh, I last did a moto vlog. I've uh, been gone for a couple of weeks. Uh, we were in Norway uh, on an assignment for my other website, cruisereport.com. And um, uh, on a cruise ship going from Bergen, Norway down to London. So haven't had a chance to do a motor vlog, didn't have a chance to ride my bike for a couple of weeks. So it's good to be back. And uh, first thing I do when I get home is go out to the garage and jump on the Goldwing and go for a ride because that's my real passion. But anyway, a lot of stuff's been going on since I was gone. I've been keeping up with the GLForum.com and keeping up with the YouTube channel, seeing some of the comments you folks have posted, and uh, appreciate all the comments. And just want to let you know what's coming up. Wing Ding's coming up in just two or three weeks. I'm going to be doing some work on my trailer to get it ready for the trip, because I will be pulling my Bush Tech trailer. And I've got to add a couple of new uh, towing chains, safety chains, I should say, to the Bush Tech. And I'm going to kind of show how I'm going to do that. And also come, come show you some, uh, some of my ideas and tips on things you can do when you pull a trailer just to make it safer and maybe a little more convenient. So we'll talk about that a little bit. And of course, I'll be motor vlogging. Uh, from the trip hopefully each day I'm gonna try to do something every day now when I go on a road trip like this I'm gonna actually take my time I'm not gonna you know in the summertime I don't like riding in the heat so I try to do my riding in the morning while it's cool and usually try to get to a hotel at a reasonable hour maybe before one or two o'clock in the afternoon and then I just sit out the heat of the day so I'm going to take my time and I'm going to take a couple of days to go to Knoxville. I'm not going to get in a hurry. So I may do, uh, who knows, two or three, four motor vlogs during wing ding. And I'm going to, uh, some of you have reached out to me about getting together while we're at wing ding and uh, I'm going to try to organize some of that this next week, hopefully. And I'm sure we'll get a chance to meet some of you while I'm out there. I'm not officially going to any of the uh, the functions. I, I don't have a ticket per se. I'm just going to pay at the door. I'll probably go to the trade show, see a few of the vendors that I work with, uh, do videos for, and get a chance to meet them in person and, you know, do a little press the flesh type thing. But I'm not going to the meetings or the functions or the dances or any of that kind of stuff. I may go to the first night out at the Appalachian Museum. I may try to get into that. So we'll just see. Um, other than that, um, next week I'm meeting with Don Smith, another one of my YouTube buddies. And he and I are going to sit down together and work on a video talking about, finally talking about the Bluetooth headsets. I've used two or three different ones. He's used two or three different ones. He has his favorite, and I've got my favorite. And we're going to sit down and talk about the Bluetooth headsets, what he likes about his, what I like about mine, and what we didn't like about the other ones. So for those of you that are looking to purchase a Bluetooth headset or a pair of Bluetooth headsets, you might find that video quite informative. And hopefully by the end of next week, we'll have that ready to go. So we got the trailer video coming up. We've got the Bluetooth headset video coming up. Uh, we've got more motor vlogs planned. And I'm going to be working on an installation video for a Garmin GPS. I've, for now anyway, I've kind of given up on the Honda GPS. And I'm going to be testing out this Garmin 595LM on my road trip to Wingding. 
so during my motor vlogs wing ding motor vlogs i'll be talking about that gps as well and how it compares to the built-in honda gps so that's kind of what's going on i recently turned 4,000 miles on the goldwing and a lot of you have been asking me to update my first impression video like what do you think of the goldwing now that you've had it for uh, a few months and so many thousand miles and good question and have my impressions changed well I would say my first impressions are still pretty much intact I was able to make a decision on the seat and I think when I did the first impressions video I hadn't really ridden long distance enough to come up with a verdict on the seat but I did finally decide the seat was just not comfortable enough and that's why I had the wing soft uh, upgrade to the seat and it's made a huge difference and I know a lot of you have watched the video that I did with John Conley down in Bryan College Station and I know uh, a lot of you kind of overwhelmed him with phone calls and emails and I think he's been pretty busy since I did that video uh, doing seat upgrades. So if you've had the Wingsoft upgrade on your seat, uh, you know, post some comments. Post comments on that video, post comments on this video, and let people know how you like your upgrade because I'm loving mine. I'm really enjoying it. And I think you're going to see a lot of videos like that that are going to hopefully help you make some good decisions on how to upgrade your Goldwing, how to make it more comfortable. You know, a lot of you have posted information, there's a few people have posted information about, you know, how negative it is that Honda would build a motorcycle like this, and then you have to go out and spend a lot of money to make it comfortable to ride on the highway. But that's nothing new. I mean, there's a lot of motorcycles out there that have substandard seats. I know I had a uh, Kawasaki Versus, and the seat was, horrible much worse than the Goldwing seat so that's not uncommon there's aftermarket seat companies out there for a reason and they're not just making Goldwing seats they make seats for Harleys they make seats for Suzuki's and Kawasaki's and all kinds of different models so it's nothing new uh, for a motorcycle company to put a seat on a motorcycle that's substandard and just not very comfortable fortunately we have an aftermarket to take care of those types of things. And that's true of all this stuff. It's true of highway pegs and, you know, Honda's never gonna put highway pegs on a motorcycle because they would probably consider that a safety issue because your feet are not near the brake pedal or the, or the shifter if you have a manual transmission. So it's irrational to think Honda is gonna do anything to put themselves in legal jeopardy put something on a motorcycle that could be considered a uh, safety hazard in their opinion. The same thing with a trailer hitch. Honda's not going to put a trailer hitch on a motorcycle because they're not going to condone pulling a trailer with a motorcycle. And, you know, truth be told, every time you do these things like pull a trailer or use highway pegs, you are compromising safety on the motorcycle. Obviously, the safest thing would be to keep your feet on the foot pegs at all times and have your hands on the handlebar and not pull a trailer. I mean, you know, if you really want to maximize uh, the safest riding condition, you wouldn't do anything to modify your motorcycle. Now, I think there's some things you can do to modify the motorcycle that actually make it safer. An example would be better brakes or better lighting. You could argue that even a better, more comfortable seat uh, makes you safer because the more comfortable you are, uh, less fatigue uh, would set in, and fatigue is a safety issue. So, you know, these are all things you can argue one way or the other. But the fact is, I don't want you guys to be too negative on Honda for coming out with a Goldwing that has a substandard seat because Again, that's not that uncommon. I hear people with BMWs complain about the seat. I hear people with Harleys complain about the seat. Harley sells their own uh, seat upgrades for very expensive seat upgrades. 
So it's not that uncommon. I think one thing that came out of that video that's probably going to hurt Honda's aftermarket sales is the revelation that the $799 custom seat that Honda offers has the same foam and padding as the stock seat. It's not really any more comfortable, it's just different. It might have a little bit more support for your back, but you can't, you can't add the uh, Utopia backrest or even the Honda backrest. So I actually prefer the stock seat that I can use my Utopia backrest because to me that's maximum comfort right there. So anyway, I'm looking forward to the ride out to Wingding. It's been a while since I've done a multi-day trip and I've never done a multi-day trip on this Goldwing. So I'm excited about that. And also, I just want to remind you, if you like these videos, please take a moment to click that little subscribe button. And if you click on that little bell, you'll be notified anytime we post all these new videos we got coming up. And also remind you, if you currently ride a 2001 to 2017 Goldwing or F6B, uh, check out my website, cruisemansgarage.com, because I got some excellent maintenance videos that will really save you a lot of time and a lot of money taking care of doing your own maintenance on your bike. Now, I got to tell you something about the DVDs. Once my DVDs are sold, that's it. We're not going to do another production run of DVDs. So if you're considering a set of DVDs, you'd better get them while you can, because once they're gone, they're gone. And you can also get my videos on demand. You can basically pay a one-time fee, and you have unlimited access to all my videos in full HD on streaming, you can watch them on your iPad, you can watch them on your laptop, your computer, anything connected to the internet. So that's another great uh, tool that you can use. So anyway, appreciate you guys being here. Please click the subscribe button. Uh, check me out on Instagram and Facebook and on Twitter. And until next time, this is Cruise Man. 